We are getting more Smash Brothers fighters. Everything seems possible now, so let's talk about it. Block content. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Contents Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And my boys, I'm extremely happy because, of course, we've been talking about it so much. We've been live streaming, we've been playing as Banjo, and we now know that there are more characters coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I am beyond excited. I'm thrilled. I never thought that this would happen. If you guys followed me and we actually did the speculation squad with Papa Gino's and Lax Chris, we talked about it together. I was the only one in the company to basically say, I don't think more fighters are coming. I think that this is going to be it. And I was completely wrong. And I'm more than happy to be wrong about something like this because more fighters are coming. Sakurai did the old hat trick again. And he's basically saying, guys, I don't think I'll ever stop working on Smash Brothers because the ride never ends. New fighters, they, they've just been announced, right? He just said even more DLC fighters will join the battle and additional DLC fighters will not be included as part of the fighters pass and will be sold separately. So there's not a second fighters pass coming. That's what the little subtitle says, right? So I really wanted to dive into it with you guys here. So thank you guys so much for joining. And of course, for those who guys who like giveaways, we are giving away a Piranha Plant plushie and a beautiful What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt. The t-shirt at 40K and the Piranha Plants at 50K. So please press a like for this video. It really helps out the channel and subscribe to Block Content if you haven't already to enter for the giveaway. Thank you guys so much. And let's get into the main topic of today, which is of course, the DLC fighters and more coming to Smash Bros. Ultimate. Of course, now we have Joker from Persona 5, we have Hero from Dragon Quest, we have Banjo-Kazooie from the Banjo-Kazooie franchise, and we have Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury, which is incredible. They basically say purchase the Fighters Pass today or at all times to receive all five Challenger Packs, and there is just one more character left to be revealed. The fifth Challenger has not yet been known. There's no real data mine. There's no real information here. There's no leak as there was with Terry. So I think the possibilities here are endless. And not just if we think about this fighter that could be, you know, entering the fray. I think the one thing is for definitely sure, I think that we are going to get a third party character because that's been the road up until now. I think for the other fighters, they might very well be Nintendo fighters, uh, the other separate releases. I think that it makes a lot of sense to not keep it all third party, but for Nintendo to kind of reclaim their ground again, right? Because Smash Brothers is of course originally Super Smash Brothers All-Stars, right? Nintendo All-Stars fighting in this huge Smash Brothers arena together. And now it becomes more like a gaming crossover, which isn't a bad thing at all. It's actually super beautiful because now we have dream matches like Banjo and Kazooie with, of course, characters that we love like Solid Snake, Cloud from Final Fantasy, and now stuff like Terry, Hero, Joker. So another character joining that fray from third party could be very interesting. So there's basically a couple of things that I think will happen here. Number one, I think the character will be third party. Number two, I think the character will be female. I think that it won't be another male fighter. I mean, if we look at Joker, Hero, Banjo and Kazooie and Terry, of course, Kazooie is a female character, but she's a part of the Banjo and Kazooie team up and it's mostly referred to as Banjo and you basically control Banjo for most of it. And even Hero doesn't have any female alts. There's no female version of Joker as we've you know thought that there would be because of the whole data mine. And Terry, we don't know if it will get some sort of an alternate. There's possibilities within that franchise to have that happen, but I, it doesn't seem likely for this one. So for the fifth fighter, I would think that it would be extremely strange if it would be a male fighter. I think that an all male fighters pass is not strange at all, but I just think that it would be very fun and inclusive to have a female fighter for at least one of five slots, right? That'd be incredible. So 
Um, there's a lot of rumor there, so I think that it will be a female fighter. I think that it will definitely be a third party. And another guess here is that it will be a company that isn't yet represented in Smash in some character way, right? So it won't be a Capcom character. I don't think that there's a possibility here of it being something from Resident Evil, um, because I think that they really want to introduce new companies, right? Not just new franchises, but really get everybody on board. That's basically what they're doing here and SNK is a really fun you know new example of that and of course Microsoft and you know with with Square with the whole uh, Dragon Quest thing you can kind of give them a pass Atlas in terms of persona um, because of course Hero is just that prolific and so different right from a character like Cloud so to me those are all the reasons that I think that it will be either a third-party character a female fighter and it will be some company that is not yet represented in Smash in terms of a fighter. So all of those things are very interesting to me. Um, what do you think the character will be? To me, it could even lean the way of a Kasumi from Dead or Alive or the Ninja Gaiden franchise. I think that if we look at male fighters, I definitely think it could be Crash. It could be a character that may be a little bit closer to, uh, you know, a Ninja Gaiden in terms of movement speed, or it could be a character from Resident Evil. I think that it should be someone who is very different from the fighters that we have right now. I think that if you go for the final character with a dream pick of a lot of players, that's going to be really difficult, right? I think that the fifth fighter is basically for everyone a bonus, right? Everybody's basically gotten what they want. If it's Joker, if it's Hero or Banjo Kazooie, for a lot of people it's Terry too. And I think the fifth fighter, I think everybody who wants that fighter's pass already has got it right now. So I'm really curious who that final spot there will be. And there are actually people, myself included, on the inside of the Nintendo fandom, on the Smash fandom, that have actually started a real good research on who people really want in the game. And of course now we have the Sans costume, the Mii costume, which is incredible and it looks beautiful and I'm so happy for Toby to be living his dream. Um, you know, we come from the same kind of background in terms of fan games and stuff like that, so it really warms my heart. And the idea that the fighter could actually be maybe an Undertale rep is also there because, of course, that partnership is very, very strong. But there are also some strange picks out there that I don't think a lot of people have thought about yet. Shantae, I think, has a real big shot now as well. So I'm really curious if you guys have any thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments down below which fighter you think will be the final of this fighter's pack number one. And I think there will be another batch of fighters released with a number right i don't think that there'll be random drops i think sakurai will come out and say basically yeah we're thinking about doing three more or we're thinking about doing four more fighters i think that it's going to be predetermined and i think we're going to know what that is but i think that the fighters will be a little bit more pricey than the single fighters that you can buy right now. Because I think Nintendo really knows that they want to capitalize on Smash right now. It was a great topic brought up with Lax Chris and Papa Gino's in the discussion, where it's basically the idea of, yeah, this is basically buying another game, right? It's basically buying half of a new game, and it's only the development costs of a little of that time, right? There's no game modes to make anymore because we got the final game mode, that confirmation is here, and of course you don't even have to do all that much in terms of development. There's one stage to do, not a game full of stages, not half a game full of stages, and one character. So it's a really great marketing strategy, and I think in terms of the fighters that we'll see, they will range from great first-party characters to maybe a pick from a third party that's already in the game. I could definitely see a character like Tails come into Smash Brothers, right? From the Sonic franchise, something like that. So a uh, pick very close to Mega Man X or something like that. Just a character that's already represented, but just, uh, you know, the character sidekick or another version of a character. So even a character like Paper Mario, I think now has a huge chance and of course you guys that follow this channel know that I'm a mega fan of Paper Mario so I would be totally for that. So in terms of leaks, there have not been too many but right now there's one thing that a lot of people are looking at and they call it the Smash Brothers Special Leak which basically is talking about hinting towards four characters that they think are going to enter the fray. 
So it's going to be really interesting. They basically say, spoiler, Smash Brothers special. Four characters have already been chosen as of the announcement of new DLC characters in development. I'll give some hints. Keep in mind, they are not in order of release or conception. One, a character to rival Game & Watch's flatness. Two, bandana plus wood plus gun. Three, nothing and nothing until it is done. And four, 2019 was its revival year. Bonus, Fighter Pass number five shares a name with a fighter already in the game. Just like Roy, Fire Emblem and Roy Super Mario Brothers. I do not know when or how these characters will be announced or released, but I do have multiple sources who have all told me the same thing. So of course everybody talks about sources if they do a leak or speculation or a fake leak. So this to me is super interesting and fun. Um, so I'll just play along with this game, right? Four characters. So he's talking about the four new characters. So supposedly there will be four characters and it's already confirmed to not be a new fighter's pass, which I think is not a smart move from Nintendo. Because if there were four characters, just still make it a fighter's pass and make it a little bit cheaper, right? Because I think that buying it all in one pass gives you a very big opportunity to market the thing better. But for those four characters, number one, a character to rival Game & Watch's flatness, I can only see this being Paper Mario, who is of course as thin as paper. You can make all your Lucina jokes here, but I definitely feel like to rival Game & Watch's flatness, you have to be paper thin, and that is... Paper Mario. So I really hope that the moveset here will be incredible. Use the hammer, maybe use a couple of the uh, party members, and maybe even use the mechanics of Paper Mario in terms of, you know, doing all these combos and even having some input on them, right? So to time different moves with the A presses. Number two, bandana plus wood plus gun can only, to me, be Gino. So another character that is basically a first party character, right? I think that right now they own the rights to the characters from Mario RPG. So uh, yeah, I think that Gino makes a lot of sense. I'm also very scared that the character will be basically a Sans type newcomer where it will be just a costume and a mask for the Mii Fighter, so it will get, get an upgraded look, but it still won't be an original character. Three, nothing and nothing until it is done. It's of course the Doom Slayer. This makes complete sense to me and I think Doom Slayer is a fit. And number four, 2019 was its revival year. To me, that definitely means Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot is of course finally back and with those two beautiful games, I think it only makes sense for the character to enter the fray to Smash Brothers. I think that it's a natural fit and I actually think that it's gonna be number five. But they talk about number five saying bonus. Fighter Pass 5 shares a name with a fighter already in the game, just like Roy, Fire Emblem, and Roy Super Mario Brothers. And this is, of course, Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden, which is, of course, the same name as Ryu from Street Fighter. So he says he has multiple sources that told him the same thing. We don't know if this is believable at all, but it's fun to speculate, and I think I just solved five of your riddles. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I think it's very interesting to see all these things come together. And I think that the idea that Sakurai is still working on newcomers, that man deserves all of the awards. And I actually really think Smash Bros. Ultimate should be game of the year again and again and again, just because of the content that is added and the status that it basically is having within fandom as a whole, because every single franchise in gaming history is pretty much represented in the game, especially companies. That is absolutely strange. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. If you comment down below, that comment could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. Today's comment question is, who do you think will be the next fighter to be revealed? And as for our previous comment question, our answer comes to us from Chaka Chaka saying, at blocked content, they need to incorporate Pokemon Snap elements into Pokemon Sword and Shield. I wish I could express my opinion about this. <sighs> so much potential, and the animations still don't even touch each other. <laughs> wow. Chaka Chaka, thank you. In terms of Pokemon Sword and Shield, um, I was not too surprised with what we've seen in the direct. I thought it was um, a little bit actually underwhelming to what we thought was going to happen. Not too many new Pokemon, not too much new information, but they did actually show some great new mechanics, which I'm actually surprised are in the game, you know, caring for your Pokemon and making curry on rice and stuff like that. Um, interesting, but not selling me on the game yet. 
and I do think that there's a lot of potential for Pokemon Snap kind of stuff, because the Switch's gyro sensor and just Pokemon Snap generally being one of the best Nintendo 64 games. Super replayable too. So thank you so much for a comment and everybody commenting, of course. Thank you so much for the sweet comments on our live streams and everybody doing super chat. We've been playing Smash Brothers together for the past three days, just playing as banjo, having fun together, playing matches. And of course, I was doing a little bit of singing and I got some really sweet comments about that too. So you guys are incredibly amazing. And of course, I will sing if you guys want it. We'll do a whole lot more. We'll maybe do some cover songs or original video game songs. I would totally love that. So comment down below if you want to hear more of that. And of course, for everybody on Patreon and everybody through the Super Chats donating to the channel, you guys make all the difference. So please go to patreon.com slash blocked content to donate to the channel because that keeps it running and it makes me extremely happy. Thank you. Remember, if you're not yet a member of the Blocked Content family yet, don't worry, click the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and all that news, all the fun that you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll just see you around the corner where there's always more Blocked Content. See ya!